Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a Korean action comedy film called Justice High. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. At the beginning of the movie, a high school girl named Jenny is walking down the hallway as students cheer for her. Jenny is short-tempered and cannot take it when people bully the ones who are weaker than them. She has recently beaten up some guys for the same reason and has been suspended for getting into too many fights. The guys stop her outside the school but are too scared to anger her. They simply ask her to keep her promise and never return to the school. Jenny's father, Brack, is a black belt in karate who owns a judo training institution. Because of his influence, she has been trained in several forms of martial arts from a young age. This is also the reason why she never loses when she fights with the bullies. The father and daughter go to a new school to be transferred. The teacher accepts Jenny's admission but asks her to attend the school only after a week because of the midterm examinations. She also warns Jenny against fighting because only last week, a bully was suspended for violent behavior. Her father explains that Jenny isn't a bully. In contrast, she likes to fight the bullies because they torture the weaker ones. After the meeting, Jenny is annoyed at her father for telling the teacher about her past. Brack explains that there are bound to be bullies in the new school as well. Hence, Jenny must learn to have patience and compromise. Outside the school premises, a group of students is beating up a guy named Alex just because he refused to let them cheat off of his paper in a test. Jenny films a video of the commotion but is spotted by one of the guys in the process. She initially just wants to take the bullying to the principal and solve it the right way. However, when the girls threaten to beat her up, she resorts to her old ways. She dodges their attacks efficiently and fights them with little to no effort. Alex is stunned to see someone so brave and powerful. A week later is Jenny's first day at school. The guys who were beaten up by her are also in her class. They turn around trying to avoid her, embarrassed by the fact that they were defeated by a girl. Jenny notices that Alex is also one of her classmates. He is delighted to meet her again and tries to start a conversation but Jenny ignores him. After school, he approaches her and thanks her for saving him. In turn, Jenny orders him to stay away from her if he is really thankful. In the following scene, we see Alex's mother serving a mean customer in their restaurant. The man is drunk and refuses to pay for the food. When he shoves her to the ground, Alex steps up to help his mother. However, the customer gets aggressive and hits him as well. In the end, he walks away without paying. Alex's father died a few years ago and ever since they have been getting such customers quite often. Since they cannot defend themselves, the mother and son are often physically abused. The next day at school, a popular senior girl named Shannon stops Jenny in the hallways and asks for her phone. She wants to delete the video of her friends bullying Alex the other day. When Jenny refuses, Shannon raises her hand to slap her, but Jenny, with her fast reflexes, catches it and shoves her to the floor. By the end of it, Shannon is left humiliated in front of everyone. Later that day, Alex approaches Jenny again and asks her to teach him to fight. At first, she is reluctant but when he reveals that he wants to protect his mother, she brings him to her father's judo class. Brack makes him fill out a form and invites him to join the class starting the next day. He even hands Jenny some money for bringing a new student. Then, we are introduced to the president of the school's student council, Ron. The principal praises him for handling his position well, but in reality, all the bullies of the school are Ron's minions. He supports them and saves them when things get out of hand. Ron is looking to join a local gang soon. He is best friends with a guy named Harry. They have known each other since their childhood. The friends started to fight people as a form of self-defense, but lately, Ron has changed. Harry doesn't like hitting and mugging the students for no reason, which has caused a rift in their relationship. One day, they are in Ron's office when Shannon comes in complaining about Jenny. She wants them to teach her a lesson for humiliating her. The three are in a love triangle where Ron likes Shannon but she likes Harry. The guys promise to punish Jenny for disrespecting Shannon. After school, Alex goes to the judo class. Only a minute into the training, he realizes that it isn't going to be easy. He is made to do push-ups, skip, and stretch to the best of his ability. Jenny keeps him company and trains with him, forcing him to do better. Alex is so sore from the practice that he can barely walk to school the next day. Jenny makes fun of him, saying that it will get tougher with time. 
During the break between classes, two guys call Jenny to Ron's office. She meets Ron and Harry and realizes that they have called her because of the dispute with Shannon. Even though they are powerful seniors, Jenny isn't intimidated by them in the least, which piques Harry's interest. When asked why she shoved Shannon, she confidently answers that she was only defending herself. She also tells them about the four students who ganged up on Alex. Ron is infuriated by her behavior, but Harry asks her to apologize. She does so and leaves, even though it is clear that she doesn't mean it. Because Harry cut his words, Ron tries to call him out, but he is dismissed. Although Ron is the president, people respect Harry more than him, much to his annoyance. Then, we see Alex and Jenny in the judo class. Alex thinks it is strange that she doesn't have any friends, even though she is smart, beautiful, and strong. Jenny tells Alex to stop simping and answers that letting people into her life will only give them the power to walk out of it. Alex in turn says that the memories will stay, even if people leave. Jenny is touched by his words, but doesn't express it. In the evening, Ron, Shannon, Harry, and their group go to a restaurant to welcome Chris, the guy who was suspended for bullying. They drink, smoke, and have fun, except Harry, who doesn't feel comfortable talking about beating people up. At the party, Ron is clearly jealous that Shannon likes Harry instead of him. When he and Harry are alone, he reveals that he is joining a gang. He has already met the leader, but is yet to pay money to get in. Harry calmly tells him that it is not a good idea, but when he doesn't listen, they get into an altercation. The next day at school, a gangster named Tay comes to meet Ron. He threatens to pay the entrance fee as soon as possible. Tay is more powerful than all of his minions combined, so Ron is cautious around him. Although Ron is dying to be in the gang, Tay wants Harry to join them. He knows what Harry is capable of and even offers to excuse the entrance fee for him. However, Harry tells him off and walks away. When Tay leaves, Ron is angered and in the mood to hit someone. Coincidentally, he chooses Alex and asks Chris to bring him to the office. Two boys approach Alex and terrorize him to come with them. Harry stops them and asks them to refuse Ron's orders. Chris sees this and beats Harry up for trying to act like he is higher than Ron. Just then, Jenny arrives and asks Alex to come to judo class quickly. When Chris stops her, she beats him up. Harry is in shock to see that she can fight better than him. He finds her even more attractive than he did earlier. Later, he asks Alex to take him to Brack's judo class and enrolls to train with Alex and Jenny. On the first day, she asks him why he is being so nice to them when he is also part of the bullies. Harry claims that he has left that group and wants to learn to defend himself. The next day, Shannon and Jenny bump into each other on the stairs. Shannon calls her out for not wishing her a good morning, even though she is a senior. Harry interrupts them and asks Jenny to go to her class. An angered Shannon questions him why he has been so distant lately. She confesses her love to him and complains about him not picking up her calls. Harry, however, clearly tells her that she is only a friend. That evening, Jenny and Harry are alone in the class when she asks him about his true intentions. He mentions that he used to box when he was in middle school and just wants to continue his training. Knowing that he used to be a bully, Jenny decides to teach him a lesson and challenges him to a boxing match. Initially, Harry tries to intimidate her but cannot make a single hit. She defeats him easily and tells him that power without justice is merely violence. In the following scene, Ron gets a call from Tay, who pressures him to hand in the entrance money. Starting that day, Ron and his minions threaten and terrorize the kids in the school to collect money. Alex sees them troubling one of his classmates and tries to stop the bullies. However, he is still not trained enough to overpower them. Hence, they beat him up. That evening, he goes to judo class and tells Brack everything that is happening in school. The scene is followed by a montage of Alex and Harry working hard to train. They form a healthy competition between each other, which helps them even more. One day, Brack goes to another town for work, leaving the kids on their own. They go to the movies and then to the arcade and have a lot of fun. Following that, Harry takes them to his favorite place, which happens to be Alex's mother's restaurant. She is overjoyed that her son finally has friends. On their way back home, Harry and Jenny stop by a grocery store. While talking, Harry reveals that his boxing teacher used to physically abuse him every day. It took him two years to get out of the toxic environment. He was sad and lonely when he became friends with people who were a bad influence. Jenny understands that he is trying to change and is ready to help him with the process. The next day at school, Harry asks Ron what he is up to. Ron reveals that he has finally paid the gang leader and has joined them. Starting tomorrow, he's going to work under them and hence, the gang will be ruling the entire school. 
Harry is furious at his friend and asks him to change his decision. The two get into an argument which turns into a physical fight in no time. An angered Ron threatens to hurt Jenny, knowing that Harry likes her. Later, Ron asks Shannon to help him capture Jenny, in turn for him helping her get with Harry. While Jenny is in the classroom, she gets a text from Shannon, who calls her to the student council office. On reaching there, she is served a drugged tea. Shannon apologizes to her for everything she has done until now. When Jenny is about to drink the tea, Shannon pushes it away, realizing that what she is doing is wrong. Ron barges in and slaps Shannon in the face for not going through with the plan. Then, Chris traps Jenny in a headlock, and Ron throws a few punches at her. She struggles to breathe in the hold and cannot defend herself. Somewhere else, Alex overhears the bullies in his class talking about Ron and Jenny. He realizes that she is in trouble and runs to tell Harry. Harry calls Ron, who asks him to come to the school if he wants to save her. Upon reaching the school's auditorium, Harry and Alex are surrounded by Chris and his minions. The bullies attack them, but this time, the two are trained to defend themselves. They get hit quite a lot, but by the end of the fight, they manage to defeat all of the bullies. After that, they rush to the student council office and see Ron has tied up Jenny to a chair. He threatens to kill her if the guys come closer or try to call the police. He then makes Harry kneel in front of him and kicks him repeatedly. Alex steps forward and attacks him using one of the tricks he was taught by Brack. However, Ron overpowers him eventually. By now, Jenny has managed to free herself and is ready to fight Ron. He might be stronger than the guys, but in comparison to Jenny, he is only a mere bully. She showers him with attacks and beats him easily. In the last scene, we see that Brack's judo class has several women trainees learning self-defense. Alex and Jenny wait for their turn, while Harry is enrolling a teenager in the class. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.